Alex. What? We're gonna make a video today. Yeah. Tips to win a drone race. Ooh. Are you gonna win? Aww. I mean. I start off the day as a racing pilot. First off, we're here in Croatia. We're heading to a race hosted by Orca. It's a pretty awesome race. There's gonna be a bunch of European pilots. But anyhow, I like to start off my day with like a fresh start. I like to make sure everything's organized in the morning. I go through my bag, make sure all my tools are in order, all my batteries are charged up, my drones are tested and ready to go. Setting yourself up for success, making sure all of these things are in order and are working is gonna cause you a lot less stress when you show up to the race. And then also just start off relaxed, get a good night's rest. If you're tired on race day, it's gonna get worse and worse throughout the day. Your attention and your focus is gonna go down. And uh, yeah, that's never good. me to race and I wanted to just work on filming but they insisted I get to run my GoPro so I get to get HD tr footage of the track and get a time one of the important things to do at a race is walk the track now they usually do an organized group walk you're doing two things walking the track you're obviously learning what the track is but you're also you want to think about what kind of lines you're gonna be taking where stuff is for example on some of these gates there's some wires hanging that mount the gates and it's really important to walk the track and learn where those like guide wires and stuff are because when you're flying and you're going fast and the FPV cameras we have, you're never gonna see those wires. So it's really, really crucial to walk the track, learn where these little things are, and then obviously learn the track and you'll be set up for success. So when other people are flying the track, whether that's like to demonstrate the track or they're just doing their practice, I like to hold my controller and I'm watching in my goggles and I'm just moving my sticks, kind of trying to mimic what they're doing to a certain sense. That way when I go out on the track, it's kind of like muscle memory. They just finished the first round of qualifiers. Yeah. That was kind of well, brutal. It was like practice. It was brutal. There, were, there was one really good guy out there I was watching. Oh, Frank. Yeah, and he was doing good. I don't. I, I tuned off his channel for a split second. I came back and he was like, it's pure static. Everyone, this track is really tight and yeah. the obstacles are metal and glass and concrete. And then the ones that are like not metal or just like inflatable are like super tiny. But it's a fun track. Like there's, there's some really, I'm excited. I want to race right now. Like I don't want to wait. I'm ready to go. Turn to fly is what's going on. Pretty early on, consistency is obviously better than just going fast, but we're gonna go fast. I can hear you, Drew. I just made a mistake. Better to get it done now than in the finals. That's right. That's okay. right. This is just the practice. Oh, this isn't even a qualifier. Yeah, that's yeah, just warm practice. up. Yeah. Okay. So what I found was my rates were a little too high for this track, so I've been increasing them recently so I can do like slaloms and stuff, where previously like 400 degrees a second, you couldn't really do that. So I'm at like 550 right now, so I'm gonna bring it back down to what I'm used to, which is about 
450, 500 degrees a second, I think it'll be a little bit better. It's probably not a good recommendation to start changing your setup or your rates before a race, but we're trying to experiment with new technology and everything like that, so. We'll yeah. change it up though, and we'll do it better next time. So the best part of this entire event is about to happen, besides me hopefully winning, is Drew. Shut up. <laughs> I think he's going to do, all you have to do is do three laps and you're already going to do better than I did my first run. Hey. So think about it. He's been trying to beat me at something this entire vacation trip that we're on. And it might actually be in drone racing. Alright, let's see if I can do this. You know the track? I think I know the track. Why are you flying the track so smooth? I don't understand. I'm slow. Alright, just need to do one more lap. Don't choke, Drew. Don't choke like you did on the slot. Uh, Damn it! I did it. Drew Lidrib beat me in a drone race. It's official. Thank you, Lidrib, man. you can do in the two minutes is how the qualifying works in this case a good tip is just to not crash like don't push harder than you need to because we have multiple qualifiers if you do a good first qualifier then it makes the ones after that less stressful knowing that you already have a good qualifier but if you start with like a bunch of bad qualifiers then the pressure's on because you start running out of opportunities and if you make little mistakes or your quad does something weird you're out Still so close. Oh, Alex is not happy about this. With all the confidence he came in, there's someone actually keeping up with him. He was like so certain. <laughs> oh! How did he? Oh my God! Oh, with the power of oh. you. <laughs> Trying to challenge the champ. That was a hard race. I'm not gonna lie. I I didn't think he was gonna have to push me like that. Come here, come here, come here. Come here real quick. So I made a mistake, he caught me, and then I'm like, okay, I'll get back in front of him. But then we got into this epic dog fight. I'm like, it's gonna last one lap. One of us is gonna crash. But no, it no, literally went on for like a long time. Dude, you crashed because you were pushing. That, that's that's yeah. good crashing, man. <laughs> when you're pushing, it's fine to crash. And you already have a good qualifying time, so it doesn't even matter. And I am TQ now officially, so. It's really, really important to not risk it too much. Zachy and I both already had good qualifying time, so if we crashed, it didn't matter. We were still going to be one and two. You have to try and stay smooth on the sticks. If they get in front of you, don't let it get to you. Zachy was ahead of me by about four seconds, and I made it up just because I was flying my own race. You don't want to chase the person in front of you because they're going to make a mistake when you do that, and he just made a little mistake on the, the gate that that person just hit. Qualification results. This is usually the part where I stop vlogging when I try and vlog races, because like this is my focus time, but I'm making it a priority. We ended up in, in this this race together. How are we in this? I don't this know. Is, no, somehow I ended up qualifying, which means I'm in this this elimination round. Right. And because they're putting the fastest, the, the TQ, the top qualifier with the, the slowest. Well, it's not exactly that. It's the fastest and slowest person, and then it's like some in between. So you weren't the lowest qualifier. So, but you're on the close. bottom. But I was you're on the bottom. Pretty close to the bottom. You just need to finish this race. But we are about to race against each other. We Have are. we ever done this before? No. I want like a WFD. What is it called? Oh, the UFC. Wait, UFC. That's. I have to like get my. my <laughs> All right, ready.
basically you did third. You weren't too far behind the other guy. Uh -huh. So you're going to go into the loser's bracket. So you need first or second in the loser's bracket. The good news is you didn't do dead last. So as long as you're just, you need to keep this. I mean, you either, you have to make the exact decision going into the loser's bracket. Do you push or do you fly? I'm just going to finish. That's a good strategy. someone else is fast in like a semi-final where it still doesn't quite matter I like to talk to them and see what their plan is it doesn't necessarily mean you're colluding or anything like that but like I'll ask them like are you gonna push for first are no, we of course not are we gonna do one and Why two not? it doesn't matter if I finish first I'm in the final if I'm if I, if I finish second I'm also in the final so the final is where you want to win anyway so it's like break your quad now and have to fly something else so you're just gonna t chill and take second place just to get to the final yeah of course. Right. It's all strategy, and it's good to talk about these things before him because he knows I'll get a good start and do my thing, and he'll do his I thing. I think it's collusion. <laughs> Call it what you will. That's racing for you. If I um, don't get to, to uh, take second, I still have to lose this bracket, and I think if I win there once or twice, I'm also in the finals. So. All right. So you have multiple shots to get in the finals. Yeah. You're relaxed. Yeah. Is everyone down? No, there's still one up. Everyone just went down. Made a little mistake. What I just made a mistake. I don't know. I don't. I just did, man. I just did. We go into the losers bracket. So we're still good. We're not dead. It happens. The title of this video is "Winning a Race with Captain Van." Well, this is if how we win. Don't win. I know. Then we have no video we don't and all have your no video. No pressure or anything. Somehow I'm still uh, I'm still in the competition. Is this a semifinal? I think I'm in the I think I'm in the semi. Wait, am I against Vanover? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little I'm a little nervous. I wish you the best of luck. Hope we both make the final. We got a really good group of pilots, so I'm gonna have to definitely push it up the semifinal. Guaranteed top six. So let's do it. Well, that wasn't as stressful as I thought it'd be. I got a good start. Proud of Drew, took sixth place in this one. I'm sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm just a little excited. That's all. So, I wasn't even supposed to be in this video. All I wanted to do was make this video about Alex's race experience here. But I figured as long as I was here and people were asking me to race, I'd throw down. But ended up taking sixth place overall. I'm happy with that. But now I'm done. I'm out. Had a great time. Had a lot more fun than I thought I would. But now I'm just going to focus on talking to Alex about what he's going to do to make sure he takes home first place overall. So to recap what's happened so far before going into the finals, I showed up, had a rough practice run, we solved the issues there, did really, really great in qualifying, swept it, took first place, did what I needed to do, had some great racing with Zach, FPV, and others. Then we went to the elimination races, I played it safe, didn't push beyond what I needed to, took first, 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 then made a mistake. Mm. That bumped me down in a loser's bracket. We calmed down, we made sure the quad was working. Luckily, we were able to fly the same quad, which is great. Nice, easy race. I was able to take first. Here we are going into the finals. It's just a one final, winner take all. Gotta send it. All right, so I'm spotting for you. What do you want me to tell you? If I'm ahead of him, tell me, like, okay, you're two seconds ahead of, of second. If I'm behind him, know. Like, do I you watch. You watch, you go back and forth. Oh, man. And if you're not sure, you don't say, because then that can me up. But, like, you should know. You'll be able to see my quad. And if I'm way ahead, you tell me that you're way ahead. Just the basics.
super thankful to be here in Croatia. Thankful to all the other pilots here. Let's go party! Woo! That is a wrap on racing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope these tips help you remember. Pace yourself and build up these skills and you can win any race just like I did at this one.